Hey y'all and welcome to episode 101 of the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. My name is Kay and this is my YouTube channel where I share about all of my knitting and crocheting adventures. Today is Wednesday, May 20th. And I've got a lot to share with you today. I have some giveaway winners to announce. I have a finished object and a couple of works in progress to talk about. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as The Crazy Sock Lady. And we also have a group on Ravelry for this podcast. I will have links down below to everywhere that you can find me, as well as show notes for this episode that will include links to project pages for everything that I show you guys. First up, let's chat about the Ravelry group. We have two knit alongs going on right now. The first is the Stash Busters Cow, which is a year long knit along to use up our stash. I'm co-hosting that one with Julie of Twin Stitches Designs podcast. And I will link a video down below for you guys that's here on YouTube where I chat about all of the things Stash Busters Cal. And then I'll also include links to the chatter thread so you can see that information over there as well. Then we have the Rainbow Connection Sock Cal. This is for my pattern, the Rainbow Connection Socks. And basically it's just knit a pair of socks using that pattern. You can knit as many as you want and enter them all in. And that one ends July 31st. Before we jump in with all of the knitting stuff, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who supported the Crazy Sock Lady pins. Last week, I talked about how there was something fun coming to the Etsy shop that I had shared on the Day in the Life vlog, and that was the Crazy Sock Lady enamel pins. I released these on Friday, and I was completely blown away that by Saturday afternoon, they were gone. They had sold out Saturday afternoon. It just blew me away. I could not believe it. I was, and I'm still overwhelmed in the best way possible. Thank you guys so much. If you bought a pin or if you shared them, you favorited them on Etsy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That really truly meant the world to me that they were that well loved. I have had a lot of questions, people wanting to know if I will be having more of these pins in the Etsy shop because they missed out on getting one in the first batch. I have ordered more. They will probably not be here until sometime in June, but as soon as I have them, I will let you guys know and I will restock in the Etsy shop. I ordered more like this with the pink and then I also ordered some with a purple background and a pink sock. So I switched it up a bit, <laughs> but I have more of the pink on the way. So if that's what you really wanted, I will have more of those and I will be shipping them internationally. So keep an eye out if you want more of those. And thank you so much. I was so overwhelmed in the absolute best way possible. I never in a million years thought that I would sell out of those. Never. And then to sell out in just over 24 hours was completely insane. Wyatt and I sat down on Sunday and he helped me package every single one of those. So if you ordered those, Wyatt helped package them. It was great to have his help because goodness, it was quite a few orders, which was awesome. I thank you guys so much for buying them or if you even just shared them or favorited it on Etsy. Yeah, I was very overwhelmed, like I said, in the best way possible. So huge thank you. Keep an eye out. I have more of them coming. And then I also have another enamel pin coming that I'm not going to mention what it is just yet, but I'm very excited about it. So keep an eye out for that. It should be here around the same time that those are. So I'll probably just put them all up at once. Finished objects. I have finished these vanilla socks. Been working on these. I can't remember when I started them, but I've been working on them for quite a while because I did a tutorial with the first sock and then I just had to finish the second one so I could get some pictures and then I'd have an actual pair of socks <laughs> instead of just one. But these are out of Hue Loco yarn in the Serenade Me colorway. I knit these cuff down with a knit one, pearl one rib, slip stitch heel flap and gusset, and then my rounded toe. And I did record a tutorial for these and I've been hinting at these tutorials and I've had so many of you ask when they're going to be out. 
It will be soon. I do not have a set date yet. I am waiting on one more thing to be done because these tutorials are part of a fun thing for summer. So I'm waiting on one more thing to be done to make the announcement of what all it is going to entail. And then I will announce the release date for the sock tutorials. So I promise it's coming soon. Just gotta wait on that one more thing to be finished. So those were super fun, just plain vanilla, all knitting, mindless socks, my absolute favorite. <laughs> and I don't know if I mentioned, I did those on US1, 2.25 millimeter, 64 stitches, and I knit the magic loop. That's my only finished object. I do have, I'm like surrounded by these vanilla socks right now that I've been using for tutorials. So I don't remember if I had finished this vanilla sock last week the nine inch um, tutorial. And I've got the second one almost done. It's on to the foot. So I've been working on this a lot this week. This is a Barnyard Knits in the Stone Harbor colorway. Same thing, knit one, purl one, rib, slip stitch, heel flap, US one all the same on all of these vanilla socks. And then I just started these yesterday. And this is pineapple yarn. Oops, my needle's rolling around. Oh, I can't remember what the color my name is. There's the tag. It's part of her glow club. Um, it was her glow club from November of 2019, the brown sugared fig. These needles I'm using, my nine inches were chow goos. These are Knitter's Pride Zings. And I'm going to start trying to remember to put links down below for the needles that I use for them on Amazon. And then I'll also link... I've had a lot of people ask recently where I get all of my light bulb stitch markers. This thing right here. I have some other ones, just random ones, but this is my favorite. I ordered it off of Amazon. It came with this case. It has all different colors of the light bulb markers that I use to count my rows. So I'm gonna try to remember to start linking all of that down below in case you guys want to check that stuff out. And I have one more vanilla sock that I'm working on. It is my May Desert Vista Dye Work socks in this bag by Stitch and You. And I'm using the colorway Daphne Zombody. And I'm doing an afterthought everything sock. So I've started with my cuff. I've knit down placing my markers every 10 rounds. I've marked for my heel. And now I'm knitting down until it's time to mark for where I will do my toes. So you can, like the after that everything, I'll continue on. Let's say this is the point for my toe. Then I would just knit all the way across and end with another cuff. You can do a huge long tube, cuff, start with a cuff, end with a cuff, then decide where you want your heels and toes. But I'm kind of doing it how I would do like an afterthought heel. I knit down, I know how long I want my leg. I go ahead and mark for my heel, then I knit down to the toe. So I'm kind of putting a little bit of thought into where things are gonna be as I'm going instead of just doing the tube and then cutting in and figuring all that out. I will be recording a tutorial for this. It seems like there's a lot of interest. So I'll be recording bits on like where I do the placement for the toe and then how I will cut in and do the toe and all of that good stuff. So that will be coming. I'm hoping to record the where I'll place the toe, that kind of stuff this week. And then hopefully that'll be done next week. And that one I'm doing on a 32 inch cable, 
Chow Gu, US one, 2.25 millimeter. And I have two other works in progress. So this one is in my Fringe Supply Co bag. And it is my olive leaf pullover. So last week I talked about how I was pulling this out of hibernation. And what I've been doing, thanks to Heather for recommending this, is working on it for 30 minutes in the morning. When I'm having my first cup of coffee, I sit down and enjoy that cup of coffee and work on this for 30 minutes. And I've been watching a podcast or some vlogs or something on YouTube. So that's been really nice. And it's really helped because I was not feeling like I could get into a rhythm with the patterning along the bottom of this pullover. I just couldn't get in a good rhythm with it. I kept messing up my right and left crosses and it was just a mess. Like every time I would go to do it, I would, I just couldn't get in a good rhythm with it for some reason. I think it's because I was sporadically working on it. I wasn't consistently putting in the work on it. Now that I've been doing this, even for just a couple of days, I'm in a better rhythm with this. I'm more excited to work on it. I've been working on it the 30 minutes in the morning, and then I've actually found that I want to pick it up and work on it in the evenings as well. So I've been doing at least 30 minutes on it in the evening. Um, the other night I did like an hour and 20 minutes on it. So just putting that into my routine, my schedule, setting that goal of 30 minutes a day has really helped to turn this project around. It's not that I wasn't loving it. I just could not get into a good rhythm with it. And that was making me not want to pick it up and work on it. But so far it's going good. So here is where it is at. I've got the sleeve, like the tops of the sleeves on extra cables here with stoppers. I'm just working on the patterning on the bottom. I'm over halfway through the patterned section. So that's good and exciting. The yarn that I'm using for this is Malabrigo in the Impressionist Sky Colorway. And the pattern is called the Olive Leaf Pullover. My project page will be linked down below. I'm using my Knitter's Pride Zings for this which I will admit were not the best needle choice for this because of the crosses. I use a lot of right crosses and left crosses in my sock patterns. So I know from doing them that it really helps when you're doing that right cross to have a sharper needle. These, it's not that they're like super duper dull, but they're just not sharp enough to really get into that right cross the way that I do. So I could be definitely benefit from using sharper needles, but I've went this far on the sweater with these needles. I'm just going to keep trucking along. Hopefully I shouldn't set this goal for myself, but maybe I will have that patterned section done by next week's episode. That would be nice. My last work in progress is a new design that I'm working on. I have it in a bag from Laughing Stitches. And it is a pair of fingerless mitts. So not long after I finished the Rainbow Connection sock pattern, I thought, okay, it would be a lot of fun to do Rainbow Connection fingerless mitts. I've got that design started. And I'm using this gray with some leftover that I've had from a previous project. And that's going to be color A. And then color B, I'm alternating two mini skeins that I had, pink and purple. So I'm just going to alternate those throughout. I am right to where I need to start the thumb gusset. Here's what the back looks like. So I need to start the thumb gusset. I'm super excited about this. This is another one just like the Rainbow Connection socks that you can use up scraps, you can use up 
self-striping, so many different ways that you could do these fingerless mitts. Hopefully I'll get a good amount of work done on this pattern within the next couple of weeks and be able to get it out to testers in June. Um, if you're ever interested in test knitting, I get a lot of questions and emails about how you can sign up or can you put me on your list. How I do it is through my Insta stories. Right now that is what is working the best and it's the least complicated for me. So always just keep an eye out in those Insta stories. Um, you can't sign up any other way. That's the only way is when I need test knitters, I put up an Insta story, it's up for 24 hours, and it'll have a link to a Google form that you fill out to sign up for just that particular test knit. I just put the call out when I need them. So just keep an eye out there and anytime I need them, it's gonna be in the Insta stories. If you're worried you're gonna miss it, you can always turn on the notifications so that you get notified when I post something. I think they have that for the Insta stories. Maybe it's just for the post. I could be totally wrong, but check that out. They may have a way that you can be notified every time an Insta story goes up and then you would not miss the call for test knitters over there. So that is all of my knitting that I've been working on. A ton of vanilla socks, which I never, ever, ever get tired of. I'm really enjoying it, especially since they're all... Like I have one on DPNs, one on nine inch, one on magic loop. It's really fun to kind of bounce back and forth between those and just get all the different techniques in there. <laughs> I do not have anything that I've received in the mail. So no mail today, but we do have the giveaway winners to announce from episode 100. So I have the two prize packages. I didn't pull them out of the cabinet to show again today, but my two winners that I chose from the comments on last episode are Elizabeth Linderink. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm so sorry, Elizabeth. And Melissa Hayes. So congratulations, Elizabeth and Melissa. If you guys would just email me at crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com and reference that it's for the 100th episode giveaway. Give me your mailing address and I will get those shipped out to you ASAP. So I think that's really it for today. I have just been super hard at work wrapping up all of the tutorials and getting ready to make the big announcement for the summer summer fun that's going to be going on with Crazy Sock Lady. And that has just been taking up a ton of time, but I've really been enjoying it and I'm super excited to provide all of this new content for you guys that's coming. I finished watching Dead to Me season two on Netflix. I started watching, I almost said Love is Blind, but no, I finished that. Um, Married at First Sight. Someone had mentioned that they liked Love is Blind and also Married at First Sight. So I thought, well, let's give that a try. So I've started watching that and I've been reading more in the evening. So I always read before I go to sleep at night and I finished reading the book Verity by Colleen Hoover. That book kept me so like intrigued about what was happening and what was, how that was going to end. I was so into that book that I was staying up later than I normally do, reading for longer than I normally do each night. But it was great because it's been a while since I've had a book really suck me in like that and make me want to find out what's going to happen in the next chapter. You know, I just couldn't put it down. So that was really great. And then I started reading The Last Girl. I can't remember who it's by, but it's a, is it like the Dominion trilogy? I'm going to link these books down below for you guys. I think it's, it's the first book. I think it's the Dominion trilogy, but it's called The Last Girl. I can't remember, it might've been Allison of Lofty Loops that recommended that. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was you, Allison, that recommended that book. So I've had it on my list for a while. So I started that and it's been good. It's another one that's really keeping me wanting to know what's gonna happen. That's pretty much all that's been going on. We did find out this morning that Austin's basketball is gonna be starting back up soon. Not like in a huge official capacity, but they're starting to have some workouts and just like pick up games at local parks starting today actually is I think the first one. 
Austin can't play just yet. He doesn't have his appointment with his podiatrist until the 28th of this month. So he's going to miss the first three. They're Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, so he's going to miss those first three workouts and pickup games, but hopefully he'll get the all clear on the 28th and then he'll be able to start back up with those workouts. And I'm not sure when they'll really start back up in an official capacity with the club, but this is just kind of maybe just getting those kids back in there until they're ready to really open back up. Um, Cause I doubt it'll be all the kids right now. They probably won't have a full, cause there are quite a few teams in the club, within the club. So we'll see how many come to these little pickup things, but hopefully he'll be able to start back up soon. Cause I know he's really missing it. Hopefully he'll get the all clear next Thursday. But I think that wraps it up for today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that you enjoyed this episode. I will see you guys again soon. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.